What's going on my fellow dogs and welcome to another top 10 video. Today we're doing the top 10 best Kirby abilities in the game. Only, and like I did with the other list, only the main series Kirby games. Nothing from 64 mixed together, nothing from the spin-off Kirby games or anything like that. Only the main series Kirby games with copy abilities. Without further ado, let's -a go. Number 10, Water. This is by far one of the more interesting new abilities I've ever seen, and yeah, it pretty much is. I really wish this ability comes back a lot more games, but it's only been brought back once in Star Allies. Maybe the ability was too broken in Returns to Dreamland, but I never see a reason why Nintendo would take that out. It's by far one of the more interesting new abilities I've ever seen, and probably one of my favorites, actually. It's more of a helpful ability, honestly, than merely for attacking, but I find this one pretty interesting, in my opinion. And that's what I love about Kirby's Return to Dreamland, just taking out all the abilities that were in the last... That were in terms of Dreamland and just nerfed them or didn't even bring them back from the other games. So, yeah. Number 9, Ice. This is by far one of the more interesting powers that has been around for a while. And I know, I know people are going to disagree because I put this one low. But I don't know. You basically freeze enemies and kick them in certain areas. It's a helpful ability most of the time. But I never liked this one in terms of attacking bosses. Although it's still a very classic ability. So you got to give respect to that, right? Number 8, Fire. Or basically Ice 2.0. While you obviously can't freeze enemies, you just burn them. And this is probably for one of the interesting abilities in the game. You breathe fire to do a lot of damage to enemies. It can also turn into a fireball. Or do a move that I forgot was a call that you dash around with the fire. The only downside to fire is just that it's kind of gotten more mad in my opinion. Maybe it's because of the new abilities coming out every single time. But maybe fire is just one I don't really use too often. Maybe it's because of new abilities. But either way, this is still one of the classics ones. Number 7, Mirror. This has got to be one of the most forgotten Kirby abilities ever, and it pretty much is. It's pretty underrated in my opinion. You basically throw mirrors around, you can protect yourself which, when shielding, and that's it. Not much to say on mirror. Now, it's, now, technically, most times for bosses, it's pretty useful, but helpful. Have I ever seen anything helpful with it? Eh, maybe or maybe not. Honestly, but mirror is probably one of the more interesting abilities I've ever seen. And I guess because I, I like in Superstar, but I don't know. People never talk about this ability, I guess. Number six, Yo-Yo. This has got to be one of the more interesting abilities I've seen make a comeback, actually. Superstar was pretty cool, and I know a lot of people didn't like Yo-Yo, but the, when they made it a comeback, it was extremely fun to use. You basically use a Yo-Yo to attack enemies from far away most of the time and just do a lot of damage. Yo-Yo is probably one of my favorite abilities in Kirby. And this is one of my favorites. The only downside to this is just that you have to be kind of close to the bosses to really use this ability. But hey, it's still very fun nonetheless. Number 5, Ninja. This has got to be up there one of the most underrated abilities ever. And it really is because nobody talks about this. You throw Ninja Stars, you can wall jump, not like Mario, but basically hang on walls. You can also do like a little... um move where you dash through, and a lot of other different moves. Ninja's gotta be one of the more cooler abilities, but I guess the only downside is just more of a weak ability for bosses, but all, other than the less, it's still a very, very fun ability. It's one of my favorites. Number four, Fighter. I really debate on putting this one so high because this has got to be one of the more meta abilities in the entire series. But there's some decent perks. A lot of different moves like Smash and all that. You do a little dive kick move that I love using, and also an up move. I forgot what the move's called, but... Yeah, fire is pretty fun to use. I guess the only downside to that is that nobody really talks about this ability anymore because new abilities have been coming out. But this is by far a classic. Number three, beam. I almost forgot this. I almost forgot this ability when making this list, and it's got to be one of the more forgotten ones. While beam has been pretty mad in later titles, it's still a very fun ability to use. You have a long range kind of wand that basically is electricity, which I like. And it's just amazing, honestly. I guess the only downside to the beam is just that one move that was from Return to Dream that they've taken out. They make a beam somewhat eh, but it's still a very fun one to use. Number two, Hammer. This is my favorite ability in the whole series, but we'll get to my one of my favorites in a bit. But Hammer, what do I have to say? It's a strong ability. You can do a very powerful move. And a lot of other different powerful moves you can do. The only downside is that Trurina basically des Hammer basically destroys Trurina, at least I can tell. You basically win Trurina every time you use Hammer, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess that's the reason why nobody really puts Hammer on the list for most of the reasons, because it's kind of like broken for Trurinas, but 
keep in mind that it is one of the best abilities only because it's strong, I guess. But hey, Hammer's still one of my favorites. Before we get to my number one list, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, being Bomb. While it's basically useful in Star Allies, or I mean, Star Allies, Superstar, I never see it useful really that much anymore, honestly. Something about it is just kind of meh, I guess. Also, from Squeak Squad, Magic. While it's never been brought back that much, it's a pretty fun ability to use. Also, uh, Tornado, pretty much the invincible ability, but it is hard to control, but it did make Trurina Returns to Dreamland kind of broken, so it has never been brought back ever again, because Trurina will basically destroy that, I guess. Also, another one that I did not uh, include on the list is um, the Artist ability. Now, I feel like this ability was used in the game, I forgot if it was in Superstar or not, but... But it's it's not amazing superstar if I could tell. But overall though, it's pretty much a very fun ability uh, to use anyway. So yeah. Also archery. Uh, while it's more of a useful ability, it's still a very fun ability to use. So gotta give respect to that. Also one of my favorites in returns to or uh, <laughs> triple deluxe, uh, beetle ability. While it's basically an underrated ability, it's still very fun to use. And um, well, I guess I'll go ahead and put in uh cook, I guess, because it's basically you get food, but it's not much to say about that. Oh, and I guess I forgot, oh, I forgot to put this on my top 10, but Cutter. Cutter is another fun ability, but I don't know. I always find this one kind of mad in the later titles. Maybe it's because I've always been using new abilities, but Cutter is still one of my favorites and basically the most fun ability to use. And number one is Sword. I mean, what else would it be, right? This is one of Kirby's first abilities ever, so you have to give respect to this ability where you have a lot of different moves like Link basically and yeah, that's pretty much what Sword is So don't think I need to go too far in this because this is literally one of the best abilities to use honestly Maybe even bosses as well It was not easy ranking these top 10 Kirby abilities, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys